our first guest is a comedian with Northwest Roots and a frequent champion and judge on the Kill Tony podcast. We welcome back to Afternoon Live comedian Hans Kim. Thanks for visiting us again. Thanks for having me again. You're a Northwest native, so just up I-5 a little ways, right? Yeah, three hours. Okay, okay. <laughs> You've been doing comedy for a while now, since yeah. about 2013. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a long time when you it say it. It is a like long that. time. How has your act and your approach changed since you first started? Um, well, first, I, d I had no idea what I was doing, yeah. and I was just saying a bunch of bad words. <laughs> well, now some I'm people do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm uh, saying bad words, but not on TV. Um, you have to pay we money appreciate to see that. It. That's true. You're looking out for us, but they're more <laughs> uh, crafted, I would say, at this yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> I have a great uh, chant that I some sometimes do on okay. the sh on the show. Okay. But yeah, I won't do that tonight. Tell me about how has your life changed since becoming a part of Kill Tony? It's such a successful platform that a lot of comedians are finding huge success with. Yeah, it's a uh, night and day difference. It's basically my SNL or like whatever, like my big Tonight Show break. Yeah. It's uh, such a big thing, you know, before I was living in a van and I was on the show. Okay. And now I'm living inside. That's great. Yeah. With walls and a roof. Uh-huh. <laughs> was it a nice a van? <laughs> yeah, I got a nice van, a Sprinter van. <laughs> okay. I got a $10,000 loan from a family friend and I paid it back during the pandemic because the government gave me a lot of money. Okay, great. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it was, uh, such a great opportunity <laughs> for me. It's like such a crazy thing. Like I went from the most poor you could be <laughs> to now I'm on TV. You're on TV. How does your family, how do your parents feel about the success and watching you rise in the comedy world? They're like, oh, Hans, he's over there doing his crazy thing again. <laughs> Let's <laughs> hope he doesn't bring shame to the family. <laughs> what were you like as a kid? Were you cracking jokes? Were they trying to contain you? What was going on at home? I was uh, pretty much like uh, like uh, like warning signs mm. of like a criminal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I was sort of like a dark, moody child, just out there. Look at you. Is this you thing. and sister? Yeah, my beautiful little sister. She's oh two years gosh. younger than me. She's well, that's pretty adorable. Got a baby of her own now. Oh, you're an uncle? How fun is that? <laughs> it's great. She uh, sends me videos and uh -huh. little audio clips. So that's really exciting. I feel like I'm there. Do you get to? Do they? Do your family get to come see your shows very often? Do you get to be in the Pacific Northwest very much? I try to not have <laughs> them do that. <laughs> it kind of <laughs> ruins my mood. You if don't I know want them there. to be. Yeah. In the room when you're saying bad words. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be like we're at a sleepover, the parents are asleep, and we're just there chanting the R word or something. There you go. Uh, when okay, so you were just here about a year ago, right? Yes. Well, we're so happy that you're back. Yeah. And th everybody's talking about how great you are at peanut butter tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I'm very nervous about our next segment together. Yeah, that's pretty much my only passion in life <laughs> right now. Have you been practicing? Yeah, I've been uh, at college dorms just trying oh. to... Ruin their beer pong game <laughs> to set up my toast. Okay, this is you and Kara. Wow. That is skill right there. Yeah. Three in a row. Do you have a new strategy for today? Yeah, it's uh, the roundabout strategy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make it look like I'm losing, but then. Oh, I'm not. I see. Yeah. Sandbag it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. I, ha I think we have a cool photo of you, a nice selfie on one of our local bridges here from one of your previous visits. Oh. Are you still? Oh, look face. at you. Yeah, <laughs> as if my head wasn't big Are enough. you biking? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I had a bike back. I don't know where I got a bike from. Oh, okay. I had a the bike. bike is no longer. I was very poor. I don't know. <laughs> I was sleeping in my car here, so I don't know where my bike oh came my from. Oh my gosh, and look at you now. So is Austin home base for you now? Because that's where yes. Kill Tony usually happens? Yeah. What's that like? It's such a fun city. It is Mars right now. It is really? a desolate. Yeah, the w temperature is not suitable for humans. That's true. So it's good to be here. You know, it's wet, but it's good for life. A little humidity never hurt anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad that you're here visiting us. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to see this tic-tac-toe action, so <laughs> don't move. Thank you so much for being here, by the Thank way. Thank you so much. Let's tell everybody that Hans is performing at Helium tonight and tomorrow. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. And don't go away. Coming up next, Hans Kim will be back to defend his peanut butter tic-tac-toe title. Stay right there.